to do data mining, uh, you go into the entity you want to look. And in this case, you want to be the district. Go to students and data mining right here. Um, there's lots of existing reports here, probably one that you might um, need, but I'll go ahead and start a new one. We'll just go to add. I'm going to name this addresses. Since I'm never going to use this again, I'm going to go ahead and make it a temporary report just because I don't need any more reports in there than already exist. And I'm just going to hit, um, let's see, active student, CS, next year status. I just have this both. Um, probably need to make this landscape. Doesn't matter all that much. That's pretty much it here. Save and add fields. This is the one part that's a little tricky is finding where the fields are that you're looking for. And for student information, most of it is within general and then profile. So you got your phone, your address, all that stuff, but there are, there are some things in um, like No Child Left Behind, you've got their STN is in here, um, and there's a few other ones. Uh, custom forms would have like all of our stuff from uh, registration, um, busting obviously the rest of these, you know, family, entry withdraw, there's, you know, basic stuff, kind of like the um, down the side of the profile view um, when you're looking at student information. So general profile, well here's our address. You see when the uh, category is this brown color that means there's more here. So I'm just going to go ahead and just get this. You have to double click it and it goes down in here. And then I'll go ahead and add some information from about the student just to make sure. Uh, we'll do student first name, last name. Let's put their grade level in case we need to look up something. And that should be good. Okay, so I'm going to go save and back. And then you can change your ranges. You only get certain kids. I don't have any luck with those. To me, I'd rather just pull everything out and then I delete what I don't want in my report. But this should get us. So then when I'm done at this screen or anywhere here, um, I can say back, and um, um, so from yeah that screen or from this screen, just select it and then click on Excel because that's what we want to see. This will take a few minutes to run. Um, you can always go back in and change these settings um, and adjust it, delete it. Um, data mining is not super difficult, um, but it's just finding the fields to that you want to find. And so here's our report and I'll go ahead and cut off this recording